And after a quick tour in Singapore, it was time to continue on with our flight to Manila. We find ourselves heading back to Singapore Changi Airport. This is Singapore Changi Airport Terminal 1, where Owen and I are flying out of via Jetstar Asia to Manila. Apparently, what we encounter are rows of machines instead of the usual manned check-in counters. It's alright, we've used self-check-in machines before, and simply following the instructions on the screen, you can pretty much do things on your own. But when things simply go wrong, it's a relief to find the presence of an airline staff to assist us and troubleshoot the problem. We're fortunate to find a check-in agent, who happens to be a fellow Filipino working for Jetstar. Cheerful that she is, we just had to invite her to watch our YouTube channel. Google search. Okay, I'm Mitch Young to YouTube. Just the own channel. Maybe the malat mga sila. Subscribe ka, kasi bakap ano kasama ka jan. Two weeks from now, may edit na siya, mabilis mag-edit. And that's one additional subscriber. After having a pleasant time conversing with Jetstar agent Jessa, Owen and I headed towards immigration. Once done, we had to stop by an information kiosk where upon entering your flight details, it'll simply give you directions on how to find your way to your assigned gate. You are here. Okay. This is where we're going to the right side. Okay, yeah. there you D4, go. D4. With the hours we have till departure, Owen and I decided to explore the terminal for a bit. Terminal 1 has a swimming pool at its rooftop. And since it's closed at this time, we just had to go elsewhere to do some plane spotting while waiting for our flight. Hours after, our plane appears in our assigned gate, fully serviced and ready to accept passengers. Boarding process eventually commenced and we were off to take our flight before we know it. For the many times I travel by air, I often do a ritual which is to tap the plane and feel its exterior. Just a gesture for good luck and a safe journey. A crew member inspects my boarding pass at the door, and soon as I've boarded, I'm off wandering inside the aircraft and heading towards the rear galley, checking the entire cabin while most of the passengers are not around. If you're among the ones to board first, this is a good time to put your luggage at the overhead bin, use the lavatory, or perhaps take souvenir photos inside the cabin. You can take advantage of doing those as there are not too many passengers around just yet. Right after, I've settled in my seat, which is not too far from the forward door. Passengers are still boarding and I can only observe people coming in from where I'm seated and watch what's happening outside my window. It didn't take long and we've started taxiing towards the runway. Not much aircraft movement is seen as our flight departs at the wee hours of the morning. But it's still a good chance to see the airport from above under dawn's early light. As our aircraft continue to climb, I can only enjoy the view outside for now. As much as I wanted to take a nap like the rest of the passengers, crew members began handing out immigration cards soon as seatbelt sign was switched off. 
Not too long after that, sun was up and pre-ordered in-flight meals were served for breakfast. This time I'm having a premium meal of mee goreng with daging tumis, which is stir-fried yellow noodles with sliced beef and onions. It's not as sexy as how it looks like in the menu, but I feel quite adventurous to give it a try. Well, there's something strange about it as it kinda tastes sour. There must be something wrong with the food or how it was prepared. Next thing I know, I was sweating and turning pale and I had to lie down on the floor with legs elevated for some time. After a good rest and a quick trip to the lavatory before landing, I was feeling much better. It's also nice to be back home where I'm familiar with the places I need to go to and who to contact in case emergencies arise. I'm just thankful nothing serious happened and sure would like to go home and catch some sleep. By the way, we're arriving at Manila International Airport's Terminal 1, where I rarely pass through as I frequently fly aboard Philippine Airlines which uses Terminal 2. Now I simply can't wait to see how Terminal 1 looks like these days. Okay, uh, a while ago, well, I, uh, Owen was asleep. <laughs> he didn't know na kanina na ako. Hindi, uh, I was, ano, I was asleep before. 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 I was asleep Oh, yeah. So right after uh, breakfast, kani na ako mainlo ng ano ng inflight meal and then uh, yun na umigat niya siya ngatapo sa ano uh, namot lang na out. So I asked namo na sa harap sa gali if I can lie down somewhere and they did and then they covered me with blankets. Tapos inangat niya pa ako. Just did just uh, did first aid. So thank you lang ako. I wrote uh, to remember Ramon uh, note of uh, saying thank you. Good. Anyhow, yeah, we're going to up before we go, before we disembark. We'll take him and let him go. I'm going to go to the floor. I'm going to go to the floor. Hi. Ramon here, Ramon, right? Ramon, I, I couldn't give you anything. Oh, no, thank you very much. I left you a note. <laughs> thank thank no you, problem. I really appreciate okay, it. Shower, shower. Yeah, I, I am Madam Thank you, Nikki. Yeah. I was already slapping the. Thank you very much. I was already lying You're there. Okay now, so. I'm okay now. Thank, thank you. you.
I also had to thank the pilot who went out of the flight deck in the middle of the flight to check how I was doing at the time of the incident. I also realized the importance of having a travel buddy as he may be of assistance in case emergencies like this happen. Alam mo yung na parang para ka na to food poison. Oo. Oh. Parang ganun. Anyways. Wala ka tayo sa last. Ito hindi ko inubos eh. Bakit? Anyhow, I'm feeling better and I'm up and about. Now we're off to find our way to immigration. Okay, so we just went to the restroom and we're off to immigration na. Yun. We don't have to fill up anything, just a passport, right? Automated. Okay. Alright. Terminal 1 have electronic gates where it took us less than a minute to scan our passport, thus speeding our way to baggage claim where passengers can monitor their luggage from closed-circuit TVs. Once we've collected our bags, we just had to do a bit of plane spotting before we leave Terminal 1 with China Airlines and Jetstar seen from a distance. Soon, it was time to exit the baggage claim area where we needed to pass through customs and eventually out of the terminal. But not before we bump into airport employees who happen to be my subscribers. Ito na ako ko ni sir. Kasama ka na sa vlog ng Jetstar. Oh, I mean, sir. Eugene. Eugene. Uh, but hindi ka naga, ano, nagbukobin ng comment ka ba? Ah, uh, minsan kasi, na lang. Yung iba hindi ko kasi gamit lang username. Sa ano sir? Sa Twitter. Ah, okay. Masusunod pala. <laughs> o yan, dito lang na. Sa bihirang bihirang best na napadaan dito sa Terminal 1. Mm -hmm. Sige, nice meeting you. Bye-bye. Okay. Baka meron din dito. So, this is, uh, you know, traveling airports and you know what happened kanina. We already told you that I got busy. <laughs> we won't cross. We won't exit. We won't uh, exit the airport yet because it's hot. So, yun, Owen doesn't have an, uh, an idea what happened kanina. <laughs> oh, but anyhow, uh, yun, so that uh, con we, this concludes our uh, travel video from uh, Singapore to Manila via Jetstar. Thank you very much for watching. Till the next vlog. Bye bye. Ay, be sure pala to watch Owen Alaska's travel videos. <laughs> Owen travels. Bye bye.